set up a racetrack. Put those uh, race ties on. And have fun going around. We have here's Ray RC. It's a toy car. I'm gonna open it up, show you what you get inside the box, and what it's all about. Check online for further details about the makes and models the company makes. It comes in a number of colors, as you can see here. As we open up the box, show you how nicely it's displayed. Pulling out, we have a yellow and black model with the number 22. Inside is an instruction manual to go over your product in a number of languages. Turn the box upside down, you have packages, remote control, and accessories all to take out. In order to remove your car, simply unscrew the thumb bolts. Place the car to the side and work on the remote control. In order to do that, you're going to open up the packages. You're going to remove some of the parts in there. And in this package, you'll have a screwdriver, a precision Phillips screwdriver to remove the remote control. Place the thumb bolts and the spacer screws to the side. They're not needed. Remove all tags off of everything. With the precision screwdriver, you're going to open up the bottom of the controller. Release the tab and place in your own batteries. Two double A's are required. Recheck your batteries, close up, turn on, and you're good to go. With the 1400 3.7 volt 500 milliamp battery, you're going to plug into the supplied USB charging cable correctly. When off, no light. When on, it'll go red. Plug into a power source. Take your battery, plug in, reinsert, charging. In about 90 minutes, we'll be fully charged and ready to go. So in the meantime, we'll go over the car while charging. Logos printed on the car. Doodle font, speed, PLD, Megalago, The Beast 22, power, and more. We have wheels, and you have the option to change out your wheels in a different type of design that is given. You're given your repair tool to take the wheel off by holding the wheel and unscrewing and sliding the wheel off and replacing the wheel on. You're given spare screws in case screws are lost. And simply place back over, and you're changed out just like that. On the bottom of the car, you have a left and right trim. You have your battery area, and you have your on and off. On the remote control, you got your on switch, you got your light switch, you got your forward click, your back click, your right and left click. You have the antenna and a strap area for a lanyard. So what we're going to do now is unscrew the battery cover door. Release and you have a spare battery located inside as well. We're going to charge this up and this battery should be ready to go for a test run. We now take our battery and we connect up. We place in correctly to the battery door compartment area. 
we snap on and screw back on the door battery cover. We turn the unit on. We have flashing lights all over and we turn the transmitter on for pairing. We get a different color and now we are ready to go. With the lights off, you can see the different colors of the car flashing and you can see the wheels turning if the lights were available. We'll give a speed forward and a speed back. In a different area of a carpet floor, you could drift on carpet as well. The RC Drift and Race Car. Obstacle course you can set up, extra battery, many hours of fun. I hope you enjoy your product if this is something that you're looking for in RC cars. Enjoy your product if this is right for you.